Meanwhile, South Korea's economy grew in the third quarter by 0.3 percent thanks to solid domestic demand. But with exports weakening, it looks like growth in the fourth quarter will slow down. Shin Ha Young has this report. South Korea's economy grew slightly in the third quarter despite the global economic slowdown. The Bank of Korea reported on Thursday that the country's GDP, a barometer of economic growth, rose 0.3 percent on quarter in the July to September period. The data is unchanged from the central bank's earlier estimate in October. Growth slowed compared to the 0.7 percent growth in the second quarter due to weaker exports. However, the economy still saw an increase in GDP thanks to domestic demand. Compared to the previous quarter, domestic demand contributed more to the growth of GDP, but growth wasn't as strong as the previous quarter due to a fall in exports. Private spending jumped by 1.7 percent on quarter, while facilities investment rose almost 8 percent, driven by a higher spending on machinery and transport equipment. On the other hand, due to inflation and the rising exchange rate pushing import prices up, the contribution of net exports to GDP growth fell to minus 1.8 percent from minus 1 percent for the previous quarter. The same official from the BOK forecast that the country's GDP growth for this year could hit 2.6 percent, the same as the central bank's outlook made in August, even with negative GDP growth in the fourth quarter. One expert says weaker exports are likely to drag down the GDP growth in the October to December period. The growth of GDP in the fourth quarter is expected to be dragged down as exports are likely to decline under a global economic slowdown. Also, due to increases in taxes related to real estate, consumption is likely to shrink. The BOK's rate hike will discourage companies from investing. Meanwhile, South Korea's gross national income, the total amount of money earned by people and businesses, fell by 0.7 percent, recording a fall for the second straight quarter, mainly due to a rising trade deficit. Shin Ha-young, Arirang News.